I uh, just want to talk about the Cisco Cyber Ops certification recently just passed it. So I want to kind of talk about the exam, just my thoughts on the exam and what I did to prepare for it. So let's get into it. Yeah, so I know this is the Cisco Cyber Ops exam, but I actually started by studying for the SSCP because I was trying to decide between these two to kind of update my security credentials because my security plus I got uh, before they started requiring a three year renewal. So I have a lifetime security plus. So I wanted to, as I was kind of getting back into enterprise IT and security and stuff like that, I was like, well, let me, let me kind of just update my credentials a little bit. So I didn't want to redo the security plus just because I already did it. And that's just, I wanted to do something new. So I did want to do the CCNA cyber ops, but I saw that they were getting ready to retire that. And this one was coming, but it wasn't out yet. So I started studying for this last year um, by watching some videos and ended up getting this book a couple months ago. But then I was like, ah, I wanted to switch it up because I had been kind of going over this material for many months and I wanted a little bit more technical things, you know, technical e examples or exercises and stuff like that. So that's why I switched to the cyber ops last month. So I switched to this uh, in March. And I just got the certification in April. So um took me about a month. But I will say uh, that's because I already had some background in security. And these two really, really, really overlap. This one gets a little bit more technical. This exam gets a little bit more technical. But a lot of the stuff, a lot of the domains, a lot of the topics, they really they really complement each other. And I was able to even in preparation for this, still take the, you know, some of the practice exams for this and vice versa. So yeah, it, it, it definitely helped out. So that's why I'm showing that one. But yeah, then I ended up picking this up and how I use this is I didn't go uh, just straight through it. I kind of used it to supplement the videos I was watching. Um, the main course that I watched for this was the IT Pro TV. <clears throat> And I get access to that through Skillsoft, through my job. Uh, we have Percipio. So, but it's the same. I will say the difference between Percipio and IT Pro TV is on IT Pro TV, it's more laid out by the actual exam guideline, whereas on um, Skillshare or Skillsoft, it's, it's, it's laid out a little bit different. I'll show you what it looks like. But what I would do is watch a specific topic and then i would kind of take some tests on that topic and then go through the book to kind of reinforce the topic and any any things that i felt like i needed to to brush up on so i went through and there's you can definitely see there's a lot of highlighting and stuff like that so but i like this book this this book the way it's laid out um the way that it's explained the examples and all that different stuff I thought were really cool. So let me show you some of the videos and things that I used as well. All right. So the first place to start, obviously, is going to be on Cisco's website. That's what I did with and saw what the exam was all about. They have a lot of free content, a lot of free webinars and everything um, for the Cisco ops, cyber ops. So, yeah, if you just go to that section, you can get access to all those different things. So I went through of course, the the topics and just see what was what, what I needed to know. And then I went through some of their study materials. So this was pretty cool. It was basically, these are basically links that take you to a lot of this different stuff. So it could be links to articles or documentation on their website or other websites like the CVSS scoring system goes to that website. You might get something that takes you to NIST. You might get just a lot of different things, but it was uh, well put together as far as each section. So I like that. I went through all of those and just bookmarked them and consumed all that content. Then I went to um, Skillsoft, well, Percipio, but Skillsoft, I had Percipio through my job. And so with this one, actually the first thing I started with, So with this one, the first thing I started with was the SSCP. Like I said, I was studying the SSCP before I switched to the cyber ops because I was waiting for it to come out. And I just went through all of that content. And what I like about this is you can go in and once you go through something, I don't want to watch it. Once you go through something, you can take a test on everything that was covered in all of these. So I like that. And then I did the same thing with the cyber ops so you can see the cyber op associate i went through these and these are not laid out like the actual exam topics but all the topics are covered so it doesn't follow the blueprint um 
but it covers all the topics. So I would just go in, watch something, you know, to watch all these, take the test. And then what I would do is um, follow it up by reading those topics in the book. So I went through all of those, which is, is really cool. Sometimes if it was an area that I felt like I, I understood, I would just go directly to taking the test and not going through all of the videos. So but I thought that was cool as well. So I did that. Then uh, there's some other stuff I did on here. Let me pull up my playlist. All right. So, yeah, on here, I did like some Wireshark Labs. I did some security analyst stuff. So I did a few different things on here to kind of help fill in the gaps of the stuff that wasn't covered or wasn't covered as deeply in just the Cisco cyber ops stuff. So I went through a bunch of that, that stuff on here as well. Then I went to info sec skills i did some command line basics and this one covered both um, windows and linux which was good um, i'm i'm comfortable with windows linux to me is is new is something that i'm learning right now so yeah that one was good the computer forensics course was good because it kind of showed you it kind of let you use some of the tools and do some basic computer forensics in the cyber range i did their cybersecurity foundations just to get a kind of a refresher and then i start i did their cisco cyber ops associate but i didn't look at the the actual details before i started it so i just searched for the name and did it and realized that it was actually the cisco ccna cyber ops content which wasn't bad because some of that stuff crosses over but um it just covers a lot more of the Cisco tools, which I thought was was helpful um, just to get a get a good feel for the Cisco tools. So I did that as well. Then I did Pluralsight. So you can see I did their cyber ops stuff, which I thought was good. I felt like this one compared to IT Pro TV was a little bit more technical on some of the tools, some of the concepts and things like that. They both showed you how to use the tools and, you know, showed you the data and stuff like that but i just felt like um this instructor went a little bit deeper as far as the technicality like he spent a little bit more time getting into the weeds which i like so that was cool so i did that also did a pack and analysis course over there just some basic little network troubleshooting so like i said if it was just something i needed to see one or two things on i would do that but yeah i went through those as well then uh this site is is super helpful for getting just getting comfortable with different regex. So I went through all these lessons over here, just doing the regex. It's really a cool way to practice because it like turns green if your pattern is matching and then you can continue. So I thought that was helpful. Then I went through the NIST stuff, the 861, 886. I downloaded those, read through those, kind of got familiar with that. Then also I had access to practice exams. So I had practice exams for registering my book. Then I bought the premium edition. Basically that this gives you like another two banks of practice tests. You get four instead of two. So I did that. I would go through those. And I know people say once you go through a practice exam, it becomes useless. But for me, the way I use it is I like to kind of use these as flashcards. So I'll go through them once to kind of see where I'm slacking and then I'll just keep going through them. Um, as I go through, check my notes, take notes on the stuff I miss, go through, read stuff and keep coming back until I can just understand not only what the answer is, but why, you know, the other answers are wrong or finding ways that they're trying to trick you and different things like that. So, yeah, I went through that same thing. Um, I got some some stuff for registering the book and this this is the same stuff that's in the book, but it's just kind of like some key topics for each chapter of the book. And they got flashcards there as well. And then those those exams, those practice exams that come with the book were good. But I also bought the the actual practice exam from the Cisco Learning Network. And I got to say, this one definitely covered some stuff that wasn't in the book. It covered some things that it, it was just a little bit harder. Um, so I really like this exam. Um, definitely, definitely worth checking out. Also went to Cisco D Cloud and tried out different interfaces you know 
the secure X platform, threat intelligence and, you know, firepower management center and different things like that, just to get familiar with their interfaces, because it's not something that I use at work or something that I can use every day. But this gives you like, I think it's like two hours to play with each one, you know, so you can go in and just mess around. So that's, that's really useful. Definitely for this exam, I would say. Um, but overall, man, I use just a, a, a lot of different resources and just referenced everything back to the things that were being covered and where I felt like I needed more education or more information or I needed to brush up or need to go deeper, I would do that. So like, say if I needed to go into cipher suites, I would look up specific information on cipher suites. If I needed regex, I would do that. If I needed cryptography or different access, whatever it was, I would go through those specific things and then you just write down everything I got. I got note cards. I got a notebook. So things I was missing on the test, I would go look up and even things that say I would take a practice test and I would be able to guess the answer right, but I didn't quite know it. I would still go look up that thing, write it down, go look up, see what it was. This is definitely a fun exam. I liked it. Oh, one thing I will say about this exam that uh, I didn't realize because this was my first time taking a Cisco exam. And I don't know if this is the same for all Cisco exams, but most exams I'm used to being able to flag a question and go back. This one, once you go in, it's like, hey, you know, just know once you go past a question, there is no there is no going back. So for me, um, I thought that was kind of uh, it gave you a little bit of an extra push, made you think about your answers a little bit more before you went on to the next one. Uh, but it's just something that I want to make sure, you know, before going into it. So, yeah, overall, uh, really great exam. Definitely like it. Now I'm switching back to probably finishing up the SSCP before I move into some other stuff. But I will say definitely look through this list and make sure you're familiar with everything, especially not just the definitions, but the technical details. So when it goes in and it says, you know, describe the security terms really understand that when it when it goes in and it says be familiar with the types of data <laughs> you know when it says the types of data provided by these things you need to know the types of data like if somebody showed you a data packet or a data you know record from any one of these things make sure you know what it looks like the same as all this stuff you got to understand it's not just about the the definitions like you got to know what you're looking at and that's what i liked about this it was definitely a little bit more technical um obviously it's not a practical hands-on lab type of thing but just the the stuff that it covers is here and i will say if if you think just the official cert guide is going to cover everything it does not the cert guide is well done um and he definitely puts a lot of different resources in there so i went to his github and looked at some other resources and things like that so that's dope but it does not cover everything that you need to know so just you know go through this and and anything that you're not as comfortable with just brush up on it in different areas so yeah man if you guys got any questions or you know things that you want to know about how i study for it some of the topics and things like that obviously i can't tell you what was on the test but i will say everything that's here is definitely covered and just know um, when they say specific things, specific wording, that's what they're looking for. So if they say they're looking for data, they're looking for you to understand the data that comes from those tools, different things like that. So uh, it was fun. I definitely enjoyed it. I definitely felt like it challenged me to know exactly what I was looking at, exactly what I was doing. So it was a good refresher for me um, instead of trying to go back and do the security. Plus, again, I'm glad that I did this one because it gets me into that Cisco mind frame and uh, yeah, just overall, really, really cool test. I'm going to switch back to the SSCP now, probably. And, and because they overlap so much, just go ahead and finish that one up since I started it before I move on to other stuff. But yeah, this definitely opens the door to Linux. This opens the door to a lot of different tools that I wasn't aware of, um, wasn't familiar with. So yeah, and plus I did a lot of lab. Like I did a lot of my own just lab setting up security onion and going through those tools and setting up Kali and going through those tools and did a lot of, you know, TCP dump and net sniff and you know uh, wireshark just all that type of stuff in my own lab as well so definitely get hands-on with this one definitely get hands-on it's not just about memorizing definitions so definitely get hands-on and just get practice with the tools and the concepts that they're covering so yeah hopefully that helps somebody out if you're studying for this good luck it's definitely attainable it's fun it's enjoyable and just enjoy the process till next time i'll see y'all later peace